my friends, this is Leo Siren with another vlog where I talk about my projects, my life and my cats. So what have I been up to? Well this week, first of all, for this week I will record without playing because I wanna be... I wanna express myself faster and I think I can speak faster when I'm not distracting myself with a game. The last vlogs went bigger than I wanted them to be so this is why I won't be playing anything today. So, uh, uh, first of all, I, I think I solved the hydraulic problem in my home. The plumber came here last week and he saw that we had a pipe that was leaking water and it was just after the clock. There is a, in Brazil, I don't know how it works elsewhere in the world, but in Brazil the water company sends water to us and there is a clock that measures the amount of water that's running from the street to your home and, and the pipe just after the clock was leaking and thus there was a lot of water being lost just there in the entering of home he fixed that now the clock is not spinning when we are not using water so i do believe it's completely fixed now I just have to call the water company and ask for a discount because it was their fault. It was like their services that were not working to our benefit. It was like, uh, what's the word for that? It was a problem on their ser services. It's not our fault. And then, regarding martial arts, I've been training a little differently. I haven't trained kicks in a long time because of my hurt leg because kicking high because I mainly trained kicking very high like above my head and that picked right on the point right on the muscles of my legs that are hurt but I realized that doing middle and low kicks are a okay so I started training these types of kicks uh, and along with them I started training more footwork. I never practiced footwork enough and it's a essential part of fighting. I mean, the only footwork I practiced was in judo, which is something, it was something very, very valuable. I'm not downgrading it, but I'm saying that by myself I have to practice other types of footworks and for many years I didn't pay that enough attention, but now I am. That's really making me happy, it's like I'm back to exercising my legs to an extent, extent I didn't for a long time and it's been really, really enjoyable because doing that strengthens my legs and enhances my stamina this is really good for me and regarding punches, something weird has been happening not only with punches but with my hands in general for a long time, I mean I still, for all my life, I've been ambidextrous, but in a funny way. It's not like I can do everything equally with both hands. One hand is better at some things, the other is better at other things. For example, my left hand is the one I use to write, draw, brush my teeth. My right hand is the one with more brute force. You see? Uh, but I can, I can still write with my right hand, slower, and of course uh, the, the letters become uglier and I can punch with both hands equally, like my right hand is, was better for high strength pushing punches and my left hand was better for precision striking, like the left hand is precision, the right hand is brute force. But to some extent there was a balance between them, like the right hand was not too much stronger than the left one and the left one wasn't super duper more precise than the right one. But this difference has becoming, is becoming bigger recently, like my left punches have become much weaker and whenever I try to write with my right hand for exercises, it, it's become worse, really. I don't know why it's causing that, that may be because for a while I wasn't practicing enough punches, which may be the cause for that, 
and I haven't been and I almost all almost never practice writing with my right hand so it may be a matter of practice but my whole life I never practiced writing with the right hand a lot I don't know what's causing that but I have one theory as to why my coordination is changing between my hands as most as a lot of people know the right hemisphere of the brain is the one responsible for controlling your, your left limbs and the left hemisphere of the brain, the right limbs. The right hemisphere of the brain is connected to creativity, to ludic activities and singing and stuff like that, whereas the left is the logic, the 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 mathematical thinking and things like that and I do believe that in recent years I've been exercising my left hemisphere more than the right one regarding these types of activities this change in pacing and this change of what do I practice in my daily routine might be affecting my performance in certain tasks and it's interesting to consider all that and a as in case of studying myself, I will try to change some approaches I do towards the way I think, the problems I try to solve, and what I practice to see how that changes the outcome I have during my performances of every, every kind. It's a very curious thing to think about. It's really cool, actually. <laughs> so, what else? Um, uh, regarding what I have been playing, I, for more than one year ago, I think perhaps one year and a half or two years ago, I stopped playing Ocarina of Time 3D Master Quest on 3DS on the middle of a playthrough. I was already Adult Link, I have done the Forest and Water Temple, I didn't do the Fire Temple because I realized you can skip some temples and I decided it would be fun to do them out of order so I just collected the Megaton Hammer and I went to other challenges so uh, and I stopped mid Spirit Temple so I decided to pick the game back up again because honestly I'm, I am didn't want to play a 3D game in my computer as of now and I don't know when I'll be able to get my Switch so I came back to Ocarina of Time 3D as a 3D game to play and uh, yes I'm playing it and I'm really enjoying it I finished the Spirit Temple, I finished the Fire Temple and now I will do the Shadow Temple and then I'll finish the game by defeating Ganondorf it's been really enjoyable so far some puzzles in the Master Quest are a little like annoying like they, they want you to look at every little space in a room and the logic they use in the puzzles are completely different but overall this is this adds up to the challenge and it's good to try to solve the game in a different way being that I, I finished the regular occurring of time so many times for now it's really it's been really fun and you know last week I started editing one more video game video like I recorded myself I streamed myself playing Mario Kart 64 I did three Grand Prixes and there were some bloopers some funny moments and I started cropping the entire sequence of video to highlight the funny moments I did that last week but something got to me because all the time I was editing that I felt like I was wasting time. Weird, huh? Like, I've been missing doing gaming videos, but when I get myself to do one, it doesn't feel right. Yeah. I don't know how I will deal with those feelings. Perhaps I will, I don't know, edit one gaming video every two months and maybe that will satisfy me I'll experiment with it, no no obligation, no hurry, no uh, anything and you know I am do regarding my 3D world, my projects the project I'm making of creating a 3D world on Unity 
I didn't open the lines of code to try and apply the effects on the rainbow I mentioned before, but I've been doing some studies as how to export 360 videos of that world, and I came to a good result last week, so I was able to record a few seconds of the of a camera in at one point of the map where you can where you can look around like you are reading the world you can just move the video around where you look at you can see the waterfall there and that was a successful experiment and I will do more of that then I will do the freaking rainbow stuff so the rainbow is always looking at the camera and I'll be able to experiment with two things before I export the final videos I have to put sound in the world, which is easy, but I'll have to experiment with adding the sound to the 360 video. Basically, I have to study a lot of how to make 360 videos in general. So I'll put the sound, I'll make the, put the sound in, I will animate the camera, like, there will be cuts where you won't be static, just so that you can look around. There will be cuts where the camera is moving slowly on the world, and you can look around while the camera is moving slowly, like you can feel like you were really wandering into the world. That is the goal I set for myself for now with this project. Then, after I do that, I'll go to the next 3D environment. And as to the game I'm making, I am animating the character still very slowly. I do that whenever I have time between my gigs and the other projects and the art studies and everything I do and stuff like that. And I think that's just it for today. I, I won't mention much what I have been watching because I haven't been watching a lot of things. Like, I already mentioned what I have been watching last week. So, that's it for this week, my friends. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great week. See you on the next one. Bill Siren going out.